In this video, I'm gonna show you how to wire a four-way switch. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Josh. This channel's all about building your own house, saving a ton of money. So be sure to subscribe, ring that bell so you get a notification every time I release a new video, and hammer that like button for me. That's all I ask in return for making this video. So the first thing I wanna do is go over how to wire a four-way switch on a diagram, so let's get started. Always hire an electrician for your electrical work if you do not know what you're doing. This video is for entertainment purposes only. The install today is gonna to be installed like this, but before I explain this, I wanna show you the key difference between a two wire and a three wire. So this is a 12 two wire, meaning it's 12 gauge, and this is gonna have two conductors in it. As you can see, we got a white and a black, neutral and a power, and then we got the ground wire. So even though there's three wires in this, we only got two conductors and one ground. And then a three wire is gonna have the white, the black and a red and a ground. So you're gonna have three conductors and just have one ground. So just wanna explain that before I go over this because it's a key component to the situation here. So what is a four-way switch anyways? Well, a four-way switch is needed when you wanna operate a light or an outlet or anything from more than just two switches. So if we didn't have this middle switch here, we just had a switch here and a switch here, you would only need a three-way switch system set up. But in this case, whenever you have three or more, you're gonna need four-way switches in between the three-way switches. So in order for me to wire this setup I got now, this is gonna have power coming up to the first switch box, and it's gonna be using a two wire like I just showed you there. And then we're gonna have a two wire going up to the light that we need to, for operation. And then we're gonna have a three wire in between the switch boxes. So we got a three wire here, a three wire here, and then the first switch box is gonna be using a three-way switch and then any switches in between the first and last switch is gonna to have to be four-way switch. So this switch right here is gonna be the four-way switch and I'm gonna show you how to wire this whole setup here. But I wanted, wanted you to know if you have a power coming into this light and then the switches, or let's say the power's coming over here and then the light's at the end of it, it's gonna be wired differently. So this wiring is just for if you have a power coming in up to the light and then the continuation of switches. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you how that's wired. So the three switches are the one right here. And then if we pan over here to the entry door, we got the second switch right here. And then if we zoom out and pan over to this side, we got a switch over here and they are all gonna operate the light that is right here but this light is hooked up to the light box that's up above, and I just have an extension cord hooked to it for now, just for demonstration purposes. This switch turns the light off and on. This switch does the same, as well as this switch. So this is where the power is coming into first, and this is where the wire, the two wires going up to the light. So come on over here, I'm gonna show you the details on how I started the wiring on this first switch. Very first thing I'm gonna do is come over to the breaker and kick it off that's powering that switch box because you don't wanna get shocked. This is the first switch. I went ahead and took it out of the box so we can see how it's wired. This is where the power is coming to first. So it's going up to that light and it's also powering this whole switch box. So all these switches that are for other things are powered as well off the same power. But I just wanna show you that this is a three-way switch, not a four-way switch to the first one. And it says top here, just so you know how to install it. And if you look on the side here, we got what's called a traveler wire right here. So this is the three wire that's going over to the entry door. And then on this side of it, we got the black wire. So the black wire is coming over to this terminal. And this black wire is the traveler that's going over to the entry door as well. And then this black wire down here is the black wire that's going up to the light. And then the white wire that's connected to the three wire going to the door is tied in to the power. So let me take the camera inside the box so you can see it. I know it might be difficult to see, but if you see that white wire back there with black electrical tape around it, that is the white wire, that's the three wire that goes over to the entry door. And then the black wire that's right beside it is the power coming in. And the reason why I put black electrical tape around it is because that white wire is acting as a power. So that's labeled if somebody has to open up the switch box, that isn't me. 
And uh, so yeah, they're connected via a wire nut. So quick recap, this black screw is the common screw on this three-way switch and this black wire goes up to the light. This is the red traveler wire that's going over to the entry door where the four-way switch is located. This is obviously the ground wire hooked to the green terminal. And then right here is the black traveler that's going over to the entry door. And then I already showed you the white wire that was tied in back there to the power with black electrical tape on it to label it as a hot wire. This is the four-way switch over here by the entry door. So I wanted to show you that I leave the labels on these until I have the switches wired up so that way I know where it's from. So this says three-way from hallway. And then this one down here says three-way to mud room, just so I know the vicinity of where it was headed. So now I know these two wires up here, the red and the black, came over from the three-way switch I just showed you. And then this red and black is going to the switch that's over by the mud room. And then we got our ground wire. So I'm gonna show you some details on the back side of this switch that's very important. It has the inside up top, so this is a brass screw. Then this screw over here is brass. And then down here we have the outside, which is going to the mudroom, which is a black screw. Then this screw over here, this other wire is going to is a black screw. So these two are black screws, which represents the out. And these are the black or the bronze screws or brass screws that represent the in. So that's how you know how to connect these. And then if we look back into the box, we have the white wires tied together back inside there. So the whites tie together and also labeled those with black electrical tape too, just because those can be hot as well. So that is how the four-way switch is wired. So as you can see, brass, and then you got the black on this side. And then over here, we have the same thing, brass, and then the black on this side. But again, this is coming in from the three-way switch in the hallway. And these are going out to the mud room that you've seen me show you late earlier. This is the three-way switch at the end of the run over here by the mud room. So as you can see, we got our bare copper, which goes to the green terminal. And then the red wire is a traveler wire and it's hooked to this brass screw here. And then our white wire on this one is hooked to this black common screw because it's acting as the power. And then this black traveler here is hooked to this brass screw on this side. So again, our traveler red, our black traveler bottom, and then the white wire that's acting as a power is hooked to this black common screw. And that is the end of the four-way switch system. Again, that was just one of many ways to wire a four-way switch. If you need to know how to wire a three-way switch, check out this video, it'll help you out.